Hello and welcome back to DC Universe Online. It definitely has been a while. And uh, when we last left off, if I can even remember correctly, we did... We saved the Teen Titans and Raven and... Uh, we got a nice little um, cutscene about Trigon and all the bad things he's done. But uh, right now there's actually some exciting stuff I need to do. I just logged in, had a look around, um, after a tiny patch, I think it was about 10 megs, but um, there's definitely, I hit level 10 the last time I played, and uh, wow, there's like a ton of cool stuff that I need to d check through now. So I'm going to do that right now before I even start. Um, there are a few powers that I need to choose. So, um, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> That's the problem. There are so many cool things to choose from. Now we have the iconic powers that have been unlocked. That's, that gets unlocked on level 10. Um, and the problem is, there are just so many good ones. Now, the way these work is that, like, these are powers... I mean, it's actually all in the name. From various superheroes that you can sort of just use for yourself. I mean, you've got the heat vision here... Um, and Amazonian Deflection, that's obviously from Wonder Woman, Sonic Cry, Mesmerizing Lasso, Hard Light Shield, Batarang, Triple Shot, I wonder who that's from. I'm not sure who the robot sidekick is from, Sonic Shout, Pheromone Bloom, that's also quite a uh, obvious one. Word of Power, Neo Venom Boost, and Freezing Breath. So, a bunch of cool stuff here, but I really don't know what I want. I'm really tempted to go for a robot sidekick. Um... I don't know, I just think Lumen would, would look quite good with a robot sidekick, but I, I don't know what they look like. So, it's it's risky, you know? It's really risky. And I feel that more passive stuff would probably help me out a lot better, because at the moment I've got a lot of active, like, uh, activated abilities, and I just feel that having more and more of them doesn't or, or won't really help. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for robot sidekick, and we're going to just hope it's cool. There we go. Can I take another skill? I can. Okay, so I can get two, but let's first check Robot Sidekick out. Because, um, you know, that's just what we have to do. Oh! Well, that's quite cool. That's like a little probish kind of thing. It actually does suit me. Look, it even, it's got the same color scheme and everything. I'm not sure if that's even set up. I mean, maybe, it, maybe it's the color scheme because it's using the same colors as me, but that's cool. I hope you rock Robot Sidekick. I need a name for you. So, um, ooh, some quests to hand in. Are you ready to fight? We can't let the society get hold of the rare jewel kryptonite Star Labs has found in Australia. Oracle is adding Australia to your on-duty tab now. <laughs> Australia. Once it's in, you can sign up for it from anywhere for immediate teleport. <laughs> Do it now. I find that so vague. It's like, okay, the entire Australia is the instance. That's I cool. am the Martian Manhunter, and I oversee the League's global alerts. We need your help to overcome these threats. I will broadcast them out to you as they occur. At the moment, we have an urgent alert at Nevada's Area 51 military base. Your assistance is needed immediately. Sounds good, Mr. Greenman. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing at Australia. It's like, okay, vague. Where in Australia? They just give you the entire country? That's, uh, that's okay. Um... Australia is actually pretty much, I mean, it's on the verge of being a, uh, an entire continent, isn't it? I mean, that place is huge. And then, uh, so, okay, that must be quite a big battleground that I could join up there. Now I'm getting distracted again. Hold on. Let me just see if I can Hello, sell some Travis. stuff here. Do you require mystical equipment to use in battle? No. No, I don't. Sell. Not going to sell the soda cola because that stuff is, uh, I don't know, seems like it's quite rare. I've only got four of them left. <laughs> Okay, so there are some items here, but I can't use any of them yet. Um, oh, there was one level 8 one there, but I'm not going to buy items. Jeez. I'm not going to buy items. So I've got my robot sidekick out here, and I'm actually feeling pretty confident. But let me just have a look at the rest of my powers, because, as you as you know, there are others to choose from. So I've been thinking I should probably get a supercharged cost one, because there are only two supercharged ones here. But then at the same time, maybe I should get one from Illusion instead. Let's see what the supercharged costs... Um, what the skills are like here. Where are the one? There you go. Mass Hysteria. Uh, spectral, bestows a spectral form with increased defense uh, and illusion. Okay, I don't even know what that means. Okay. I'm gonna go for the shield. There you go. I'm gonna go for the psychic shield. And, um, 
that means I need to go through here. Because if you look, uh, my, my, my sort of in-game goal is just to go to the bottom skills here. I don't want to pick up too much of the junk on the side. Um, and I just feel that that's sort of... This stuff is sort of junk. Oh, wait, this is nice. Hold on. There you go. Well, I hope I hope that includes me. Protects all teammates. Okay, I'm gonna take that. There you go. That just that's sort of a shield thing. It's called Bastion, and it's gonna it's gonna give me a nice little shield. So um, I've got one more thing to spend. Then I'm gonna get underway because that's actually all I want to do now is play. I've been really excited to get back in here. Um, K is for the skills menu. Then I have to go to skills, weapons, bow because that is my weapon of choice. Um, and now suddenly I've got some new ones that opened up here. Okay, so boost stealth, that's passive. Toughness defense. Um, critical healing effect. Okay, permanently increased might. I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Um, yeah. You know... I'm going to go for a passive one because I don't feel like getting any more active skills right now. Okay, next up, flight. This is the last... No, it's not. Okay, so I could have spent one on flight, but I seem to have spent it already. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. But okay, let's carry on. Um, I'm going to try to do an instant soon, but right now I just want to get to the Little Bohemia police station. Because... Oh, that's a quest I can hand in over there. Okay, wait. Firstly, let's just unfly because I want to check some superheroes out. What do you look like, little Matt? Okay, so you should definitely not be a hero. You are on the wrong side, buddy. That looked like a villain to me. Um, let's hand this the in. The science police prove that anyone with a drive and determination can stand up to those who would do harm. You don't have to be superpowered. Though, take it from me, Booster Gold, it certainly doesn't hurt. Yes, indeed. We always gotta love Booster Gold. Always, always entertaining. So there's someone at the entrance here. Let's have a look at him. Because, you know, that's what we have. Okay. Goldwing. I, no, okay, wait. Props to him because this is actually quite a unique outfit. Um, you know, it looks like Seal. I wonder if you guys know who Seal is, you know. Kiss from a rose. Ba -da -da, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. You know, kiss from a rose. Okay, well, it looks like Seal. Because... <laughs> That's, uh, anyway, that's quite unique, but I'm, never mind, enough about Seal, I'm going to carry on now. Goldwing, I salute, whoa, okay, that looked weird. Anyway, so we're carrying on now, carrying on, um, down to the B Little Bohemia police station, and if any of you know any tips about traveling fast, you know, this is the time to share it, okay, because that's a long distance away. I do have my super speed flight ability of awesomeness, but something tells me um, it's not going to... You know, it's not going to get me there very fast. Okay, so now, I want to know, Warp HQ, Warp Rally, what do you think, which one? <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, this is the one I'm going to activate. It. Okay. Now I'm going to Warp to Rally, and I'm going to see what happens. Oh, okay, nearest Rally point. Okay, that's not going to help. No, okay, I'm just going to fly. Enabling super speed, and here we go. I'm just going to follow the arrow on the minimap and then uh, hopefully we'll get there sooner rather than later. So I saw the whole um, Catwoman thing is on the go now. You can actually play her in Legends PvP. And I haven't really had the chance to do any Legends PvP at all. I got in there once and then I had to quit. I think I told you last time about that. Uh, but i got to say, I mean, it does look like fun. And Oh, wow, I just got a, a feat here. Explore Chinatown. Uh, I thought I'd done that a long time ago. But it seems that wasn't the case. I'm going to have to slow down here a little bit because this place does look cool. And I'd like to get a look at it quickly. There's a bank. How descriptive. It just says bank. <laughs> okay. But um, as I was saying, Catwoman is there. And I saw a really cool... I mean, her skills and stuff just look so, so cool. I'd love to play as her in Legends PvP instead of Robin. Uh, not that... You know, not that I have anything against Robin. I know there are some guys out there that will probably hate on me for hating on Robin, so I'm not going to go go ahead and insult him any further. But, you know, I just don't like the sidekick thing. I can't get over it. So let's see how close I can fly to the water, because, let's face it, I want to look cool. There you go. Now that's looking cool for some... That's, that's just really cool. Um, I wish I could change the view a bit, but when I turn, then um, it actually turns me... And there's some really colourful lights over there too. 
So, I'm gonna head on over. I'm checking my map quickly. Oh, wow! That's nice. I can actually fly. Well, because if I don't have this activated and I open my map, then it actually stops me. There are a lot of colorful lights here. Some crazy light show. Are these quests? Okay, this is a race. And that one over there is another race. And here's the police. Da Let's just get in here. Silver mist. Now that is a bad combination of colors. No, thank you. Little Bohemia Police Station. I've actually got a level 6 quest in here for uh, Queen Bee. She's apparently invaded somewhere and I need to take care of her. That will not be a problem. Especially not with my new robot sidekick. Uh, and all that. And then I've got another two quests here which are slightly higher level. Uh, and I don't really know. I don't know if I should um, try those first or I should go. I'm going to go for the level 6 one first. I know it might be a little bit easy. But I just feel that I should actually just try complete as much as I can. Here's the flash. What do you have to say, buddy? What do you know? There's trouble in town. Hive is attacking Star Labs and Lex Core Exobite Transports down by the Metropolis Metrodome. If they get rolled, we'll never crack Brainiac's technology. Okay. Beat back the Hive attacking Star Labs and Lex Corp Exobite Transports near Outlook Park. That sounds doable. But it looks like the rewards are very, very low. I'm going to guess that that's a low-level quest. I'm just going to guess that that's a low-level quest. Um, let's find it quickly. Pest control. Oh, it's level 8. That's not bad at all. I'm going to go for that one. Definitely. Um, I just hope that it's entertaining, as always. I'm pretty sure it's going to be because that previous one was just really cool. But I'm going to hand the rest of the quests in first. Dr. Sarah Charles. Now that is a strange name. Patients are rioting all over the Meta Wing at Metropolis General Hospital. LexCorp is trying to keep Metro PD from the scene, so something big is up. Superman wants you to handle it. Mm -hmm. You'll need this Meta Human encasement device for as long as it lasts. Cool. Superman needs me. Uh, it's Hi, Booster Gold. I'm Booster Gold. You might remember me from other exploration adventures such as Chinatown, Gotham's East End, and the harrowing Suicide Slum. Today's exploration will take us to Metropolis University, a world-class institution of higher learning. I'm just thinking back now on my seal um, uh, kiss from a rose impression was actually pretty terrible. If any of you guys got that, then uh, kudos because you must have one amazing ear for music. But anyway, carrying on, Detective Thompson. This is really unoriginal. This w this person chose the the is that Supergirl or something uh, preset and just rolled with that. Sorry to say, I'm not impressed. I I don't like people that do that. Hope you guys don't do that. I'm gonna be forced not to like you then. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go for pest control, and um, it, there must be another one with it. But I'll, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure those things will just reveal themselves when the time is right. And Booster Gold, uh, what was the Booster? I mean, I didn't even listen to what Booster Gold said now. Didn't even listen. Oh, there you go. Metropolis University. Okay, that's level 4. Maybe I should do... No, I'm not going to do Booster Gold first. That's, that's asking for trouble and boredom. Trouble and boredom, both of them together. I'm not in the mood for both of those right now. Okay, so we're carrying on. I hear shouting. Oh no. Someone in trouble? Okay, wait, it seems like everyone is in trouble here. Can I pick up this car? That's the most pressing question right now, actually. No. Can I, pu I can punch it though. Excuse me. Click, click. No, you're getting away. Never mind. Oh, I can't get hit by the cars though. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Um, there's a quest up here. No, where? No, down here? No, where? There you are. I see you. Oh, cool. A wanted poster. wonder who this is. New generation of villains. Okay. Well, actually, you know, this sort of explains why people were ganking other people. This is just to kill villains. Kill villains, that's all. But uh, at the same time... It's it sort of it tells you that there can't be five more than five below you. So hmm, you know, Mr. Level Twenty, Mr. Level Thirty. I don't think you were doing that quest, were you? Okay, wow, this area actually does look cool, and I, I'm pretty sure I saw Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox do a quest here with the gorillas. But 
never mind that. We shall continue. And we're going to hive infestation. Super speed activated. Wow, this place looks cool. And it's right here. We're in the zone. Superman speaking. Given your past work, I know you're the one to handle this situation. The Hive and Queen Bee are usually more interested in creating drones than hijacking trucks. But that's just what they're doing at the Metropolis Metrodome. They're attacking Star Labs transports to steal mass payloads of exobytes. We must reduce our losses. Those exobytes are critical to defeating Brainiac. He's right. We must reduce our losses. Um, I will go about helping these fine citizens. Let me just check my map to see if there's anything else right here. Can I zoom in? Can I please zoom in? No, I in fact cannot. Once again, no matter. I'll land and I will take care of this. Okay, protect Star Lab forces and take out hive workers stealing exobyte data. Oh! My goodness. Buddy, I'm gonna kill you. There you go. I remember how to dish out the pain, I haven't forgotten. Come here, hive worker. You just. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm missing everything. You just come here, hive worker. AoE, stun, and you're all dead. It's as easy as that. You too. Okay. I'm gonna try my. Um, let's see if I can try to remember. Oh, I can remember the skill combos too. Hasn't been that. Wait! Robot sidekick! Come to me! What is this robot psychic gonna do? Attack! Oh, he shoots rockets! No ways! That's an acquisition of note. Thank you very much, robot psychic. You were well worth the skill points. Actually, now I'm quite sure the sound probably just messed up again. Let me just make sure it didn't because. You know, I'm thinking about you when I'm recording this. There you go. It did, in fact. No? Maybe it didn't. Oh! Oh! Hey, can I help you? Need your help to recover these units before they fall Quickly. Hands. Okay. There you go. AOE skill. And bam, bam. Take you down. Rocket bot, help me out quickly. I need a name for the rocket bot. I'm actually going to leave the name in to you. Um, if you guys can think of a nice name for rocket bot, I will use that name. Don't you worry. I'm keeping him in the air. That's cool. What is this? I wonder if this is what I'm actually doing. Protect the Star Lab forces. Are these the Star Lab forces? I double right click and then left click and then yeah, there you go. Okay. You. Uh, two of them. Okay. Okay. So I need to basically. It's not so not so difficult actually, because um, let's get some of these AOE skills going as well. I'm taking a bit of damage here though. I actually have to watch out. <laughs> I remember things were actually getting really difficult at the end of the last video. So um, I. I do remember that and I will not forget that. Um, let's see if I can find some more people to protect. Because that is in fact why I'm here. Does the rocket bot fly? Oh, it does fly! Hello. Rocket bot. I can't say I'm disappointed in the least because I, I hope rocket bot levels with me though and sort of gets cooler as he levels up because um, now that would be cool. If I could like, if you could get bigger uh, abilities, skills. Um, imagine if they had a pet like class in. I don't know if they have a pet class in this game, but that would be quite cool. Um, if I could do something like level my pet skills or choose his skill tree or something like that. I know it's sort of asking for a lot here, but um, why not? You know, I dare to dream. You never know with a game like this. I mean, adding a pet class, maybe the <laughs> uh, pet class. Batman could have been a pet class with his pet Robin. <laughs> uh, uh, no. no, no, that wasn't good. Okay, I need to watch out here because I am actually taking a lot of damage once again. I I can imagine that these quests would uh, get slightly repetitive. I don't know um, if you if you don't enjoy it <laughs> as much as I do. And uh, I did. I mean, I did see that Mr. Total Biscuit actually skipped quite a. There's a collectible. There's a collectible. Stop talking, Swain. There's a collectible. And there we go. Zap, zap, boom. I wonder... Hmm. Who am I locked onto? 
There you go, you're not gonna steal that stuff. Not gonna happen. It's actually just not gonna happen. Stinger. Worker and stinger. Oh, workers and stingers. I get it. Okay, I'm killing the stingers when I should be killing the workers. Silly me. Can I remember how to do lunge and stab? Can I? Come back here, worker. Lunge and stab was big. Yes! Okay, Lumen, definitely Lumen away here. And I do it again accidentally, but um, it seemed to have worked out nicely. I want to see how much damage Rocketbot does. Shoot them, Rocketbot. Oh, that's not bad. I'm taking down little pieces of his health. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, little guy. Definitely, definitely pulling your own weight here. Not that you weigh very much, but uh, you're doing it. Collectible time. Hive mind transmission. Primary training mandate. Swarm them! <laughs> okay. You heard it. Swarm them. Okay, stingers. I don't need to save any more spec op guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here and just kill these, pick these guys out of this little train of workers. Because, you know, why not? That's just a lot, just seems like a lot easier way of doing it. And lunge and stab. And AoE. Oh man. I'm some sort of superhero. Okay. The thing is with this game is you have to actually, that's a little bit of a tip from me now, you have to actually watch out with this AoE damage because often it gets a little bit crazy. It really does. And you have to also just be incredibly careful with the targeting system because as you can see I just pulled a guy. I'm accessing the Hive's latest information. I don't understand why they would want exobytes. They're just mindless drones under the influence of Queen Zazzala's hypnopollen. Which, by the way, you should not breathe. Got it? Mm, I got it. Um, I have to access my journal for further information. But first, shall we depart, Robobot? Uh, Robobot, what a silly name. Um, but we shall depart. I'm going to go stand on this rooftop and assess the situation. Let's check the journal. Okay, are they going to beam me this belt? The hive has turned the Metrodome into a fortress to defend their stolen exobytes and spread their mind-controlling hypnopollen across the city. Take out those dispensers and tag the exobyte containers for pickup. Star Labs will take it from there. I'll tag them their containers. Okay. Um, oh, yes, the Metrodome. Okay, we're getting closer. We are, in fact, getting closer. I was asked recently to keep these videos a little bit shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video right here. Somewhere. No, not right here. I'm going to find a better vantage point because Hero cannot merely log out in the middle of the, the sky. I need to get a good view and look majestic before I leave you. Mm, lighting is no good over here. There you go. That actually looks okay. That's, oh, I need to stand on the edge. There you go. That's bit. No, no, no much better okay that's it so uh, join me again soon for some more adventures with lumen in metropolis city uh, we're gonna carry on i'd like to take on queen bee soon and um i'm actually i'm actually really keen for area 51 for sure let's check what else there is actually before i leave let's check what else there is um hmm alerts area 51 is the only one i can actually queue for at the moment so, Area 51 it is. I'll be doing that as soon as I possibly can, as soon as humanly possible. What are those up there? Hmm. Okay, the Metrodome is not looking good. But yes, check back here soon for more, and uh, thanks for watching.